Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ambal Mahalangam Engineering College, Kovil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Service Examination in Mechanical Engineering subject. So, we will discuss few questions and answer in the subject internal combustion engine. The first question from 2014 question paper, in diesel engine, the control of black smoke in exhaust can be achieved by running the engine at lower load, maintaining the injection system perfect using diesel fuel of higher C10 number. Which of the above statements are correct? So, the controlling black smoke, black smoke is due to the overloading of uh, uh, engine. So, we have to run at lower load to avoid the emission of black smoke. We have to run at run the engine at lower load and the maintenance, the inspection, injection system should be perfectly maintained so that the, uh, the spray will be effective and the combustion will be effective. So, the answers are the statement 1 and 2. The next question from 2015 question paper. The tendency of detonation in is high in engines of larger cylinder diameter. Diameter of the cylinder is larger. So, what are the what is the reason for detonation in the case of large cylinder engine? Higher intake pressure is larger in, is in larger cylinder. Higher intake pressure in larger cylinder, high fuel air ratio in the larger cylinder, flame having to travel longer distance in a larger cylinder. Sparks are advanced more in the larger cylinder. So, the dimension of the cylinder, so the flame has to travel. So, the flame is initiated at one, one point, one end of the combustion chamber and the flame has to travel to the entire cross section. Uh, then only the combustion will be effective. So, the detonation will occur in the larger cylinder because of the reason, right. So, the flame has to travel longer distance. So, uh, because of the more time for the flame travel, there will be another combustion at the other end of the uh, combustion chamber and the cylinder. So, the flame, there will be another flame forming on the other end. So, the two flames will collide. That is the reason for the detonation. So, larger cylinder, the main reason for the detonation is the travel distance and the time taken for a, for the travel of the flame. The next question again from 2015 question paper, consider the following statement. Fuels of higher octane number can be employed at a higher compression ratio. In CA engine, diesel engine, compression ignition engine, brake specific fuel consumption decreases with increasing the load. Which of the above statements are correct? So, both the statements are correct. So, the higher CTA number, higher octane number is employed at the higher compression ratio. CA engine, brake, uh, CA engine or petrol engine or diesel engine, brake specific fuel consumption will decrease with increase in the load. Next question again from 2014 question paper, which of the following factors can control the detonation in the spark ignition engine, increasing the engine RPM, advancing the spark timing, making the fuel air ratio very rich. So, the answers are 1 and 3. So, engine RPM, increasing the engine RPM and rich mixer uh, will, will control the detonation in the spark ignition engines. The next question from 2015 question paper, consider the following statements with regards to IC engines. For best fuel economy of a spark ignition engine, the fuel air ratio, fuel air mixer should be lean. With the supercharging, the specific fuel consumption in the compression ignition engine increases. With the increase in the load, knocking tendency in the compression ignition engine it decreases. So, which of the above statements are correct? So, the statement 1 and 3, they are correct. So, for the best fuel economy, for best efficiency or fuel economy, we have to run the uh, petrol engine at uh, lean mixer. And third statement, with increase of the load, knocking tendency in the diesel engine, compression ignition engine decreases. So, 1 and 3, the statements are correct. The next question from 2015 question paper, consider the following statements for combustion process. The total mass of each chemical element in the reactant is preserved in the product. 
the process of carbon the presence of carbon monoxide in the product of combustion implies incomplete combustion so both the statements are correct so the statement 1 and 2 they are correct so the total mass so any every molecule every chemical element in the reactant will appear uh, uh, with a, will appear as a product in the exhaust gases and the presence of carbon monoxide that indicates the incomplete combustion so these two, both the statements are correct the next question from again from 2015 question paper oxides of nitrogen in petrol engine petrol engine exhaust can be reduced by the following method use of 5% lean mixer advance the spark timing recirculation of fraction of exhaust gases using an oxidation catalyst in the exhaust manifold in the petrol engine the presence of nox is very very minimum however for controlling the nox emission oxides of nitrogen recirculation of the fraction of exhaust gases answer number 3 statement number 3 is the correct answer for one method for controlling the uh, in cylinder uh, formation of nitric uh, nitrogen or uh, nitric oxide or nox the recirculation of the exhaust gases the next question from 2016 question paper in a two stroke petrol engine the fuel loss is maximum after opening of exhaust port after closing of the exhaust port after opening of the inlet port after closing of the inlet port the correct answer is after opening of the exhaust port so when you, when when you open the exhaust port the fresh incoming mixer from the inlet port there is a possibility uh, for the fresh mixer to leave the uh, leave along with the exhaust gases so that is why there will be loss of fuel the next question from 2016 question paper again consider the following statements regarding ci engine first statement ci engines are more bulky than si engine second statement ci engines are more efficient than the si engine third statement lighter flywheel are required in the ci engine ci engine is diesel engine si engine is the petrol engine the first two statements are correct ci engine are more likely bulky than the si engine diesel engines are bulky than the si engine reason the reason is higher compression ratio so for a higher compression ratio we require a bulky engine and the ci engines are more efficient than the si engine again the reason is the compression ratio higher compression ratio in the case of diesel engine or the ci engine the next question from 2017 question paper knocking in spark ignition engine can be reduced by retarding the spark supercharging increasing the engine speed using the fuel of long stayed chain structure select the correct answer using the code given below the correct answers are 1 and 3 so retarding the spark and increasing the engine speed these are all the method to control the knocking tendency in the petrol engine or the spark ignition engine the next question from 2017 question paper there are two statements statement 1 air blast injection in diesel engines could reduce the engine efficiency statement 2 air blast injection in the diesel engine is not instantaneous but happens when the piston moves outward with the injection valve remaining open for whatever reason select the correct answer from the code given below so both the statement 1 and 2 are correct and the indiv- are individually correct individually true and the statement 2 2 is the correct explanation of statement 1 option b both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true but the statement 2 is not the correct explanation of statement 1 option c statement 1 is true but the statement 2 is false option d statement 1 is false but the statement 2 is true the correct answer is first statement is correct and the second statement is not correct it is a false statement air blast injection diesel engine could reduce the engine efficiency that is the that is true statement but the second statement is not correct it is false statement the next question from 2018 question paper if the intake air temperature of the ic engine increases its efficiency will decreases so because when the intake temperature of the air increases right the temperature rise so the, the the air will easily the air will the amount of air drawn into the engine cylinder will be less so the efficiency will decrease higher temperature will have more specific call air will have more specific volume and the volume of air or mass of the air drawn into the engine cylinder during the suction stroke will be less so the efficiency will decrease the next question from 2018 question paper 
If one cylinder of a diesel engine receives more fuel than the others, it is serious condition for that for that cylinder and can be checked by judging the seizure of the piston, checking the incomplete combustion in that cylinder, checking the cylinder exhaust temperature with a pyrometer. So one cylinder temperature is high. So we can check on the possible method. The possible the seizure, piston seizure is the ultimate what happens. So when the piston seizure occurs, the engine will not work, right? The incomplete combustion that you cannot directly measure. So you have to collect the exhaust gas, we have to do the all the analysis. But directly measurable parameter is engine exhaust temperature. So checking the cylinder exhaust temperature with the pyrometer is the immediate possible solution to identify the more fuel injection in a particular cylinder. The next question from 2018 question paper, consider the following statement with reference to the combustion and performance in a four stroke petrol engine. The auto ignition temperature of petrol, petrol as a fuel is higher than that of a diesel as a fuel. The highest compression ratio in the petrol engine is constrained by the possibility of detonation. A petrol engine is basically less suitable for supercharging than the diesel engine. So which of the above statements are correct? So all the statements are correct. All the three statements are correct. Auto ignition uh, temperature in the petrol, petrol as a fuel is higher than the diesel fuel. Highest compression ignition in the petrol engine is constrained because of the detonation effect and uh, the petrol engine are basically less suitable for the supercharging process than the diesel engine. All the three statements are correct. The next question from 2018 question paper, which of the following actions will help to reduce the black smoke emission in the diesel engine? Run at lower load, that is de-aerating, have regular maintenance of diesel engine, particularly injection system, use diesel oil of higher CTN number. So, 1, 2, 3. So, all the three parameters are correct here. Use diesel oil of higher CTN number, uh, regular maintenance and running at lower, lower load are the reasons for reducing black smoke in the diesel engine. Next question again from 2018 question paper, consider the following statement. First statement, recycling exhaust gases by partial, partial mixing with the intake gases increases the emission of oxides of nitrogen from the engine. The effect of increasing the altitude of operation of a carburetor to on the carburetor is to enrich the entire port throttle operation. When the carburetor throttle is suddenly opened, the air fuel mixture may lean out, lean out temporarily resulting in engine stall. Use of multi venture system make it possible to obtain high velocity air steam when the fuel is introduced in the main venturi, venturi throat. Which of the above statements are correct? The two and three statements are correct. So recycling exhaust gases will reduce the oxides of nitrogen, but it is given as increase the emission of oxides of nitrogen. So first statement is wrong. Third statement, when the carburetor throttle is suddenly opened, air fuel mixture may lean out temporarily resulting in engine stall. This statement is also not, this statement is correct. The second statement, the effect of increasing the altitude of operation of the carburetor is to enrich the entire port throttle operation. That is also correct. Fourth statement, again it is wrong. So second and third statements are correct. Next question from 2018 question paper, in IC engine, the ideal air capacity of two stroke engine is the mass of air required to concurrently fill the total cylinder volume at inlet temperature and exhaust pressure. With the increase in air fuel ratio beyond the value of maximum power, there will be fall in the power developed and this fall more, more with the higher values of air fuel ratio. The volumetric efficiency of the engine depends on design of intake and the exhaust manifold. Which of the above statements are correct? So only two and three. Statement one is wrong. So ideal air capacity of two stroke engine is the mass of air required concurrently to fill the entire volume at inlet temperature and the exhaust pressure. The statement is wrong. The other two statements are correct. The next question from 2019 question paper. Consider the following statements. Combustion chamber is the volume between TDC and BDC during the combustion process. The space enclosed between upper part of the cylinder and the top of the piston during the combustion process. The space enclosed between TDC and the top of the piston during the combustion process. Which of the above statement is are correct? So, combustion chamber 
is the space enclosed between upper part of the cylinder and the top of the piston during the combustion process. That is the combustion chamber, volume of the combustion chamber. The statement 2 is correct statement. The next question from 2016 question paper, the objective of supercharging of an IC engine is to reduce the space occupied by the engine to increase the power output of the engine with uh, when greater power is required. So, which of the above statements are correct? So, both the statement 1 and 2 they are correct. So, this re it reduces the space occupied by the engine. So, engine size will be reduced. So, the size of the engine can be reduced with the supercharging and it will increase the power output output of the engine when there is greater power is required. Supercharging uh, it is effective uh, for reducing the size of the engine and increase the power output of the engine. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineer subject and I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You refer, you listen to the video lectures and uh, use the video for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me uh, through mail ID or WhatsApp number for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again with another video lecture in the solution of uh, questions from IC engine subject. Until then, bye.